stop driving. Yes, I may be just a little frog, but I know everything there is to know about driving. Now let's get started over at Flip the Fox Driving School. La 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 la, singing a happy song. La 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 la, swear the whole day long. Yes, I'm not singing the theme song to the Smurfs, but hey, so what? I like the Smurfs. Smurf, along with me. Simple as can be. Dun 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 dun. And now, well, you know the rest. Now, before we begin our lesson, do any of you have a question? Um, yeah, what kind of music do you suggest that I put on my iPod? Well, hey, this isn't the time to be listening to iPods. Let's just begin our lesson, starting with, buckle your seatbelt. Remember, the first thing you gotta do before you get on the wheel is, buckle your seatbelt. Tip number two. Look into your rear mirror. You gotta have all mirrors facing towards you. And yes, I do mean all the mirrors. The rear mirror lets you see if there's a car right behind you. If there's a police car, then you need to pull over, because otherwise then you'll get a speeding ticket. Which leads up to tip number three, the speed limit. It's really important for you to follow the speed limit. If the speed limit is 20, then you gotta slow down until the miles per hour meter moves down to 20. If you don't follow the speed limit, then it could cause some major death. <laughs> Tip number four, have your headlights on. Remember, it's really important to have your headlights on. It not only helps you see in the dark, but it also helps other drivers see you as well. And that concludes Flip the Frog's Tips on Driving. For more driving tips, check your local DMV guide for more driving tips. I'm Flip the Frog. Goodbye.